What's up guys, so now it's all wrapped up, Galaxy S20 series and Galaxy Z Flip all are officially unveiled at Unpacked Event. We've been seeing these in hands-on videos and Galaxy Z Flip will go on sale on 14th of February. If you want to get for you and for me as well, then you can get and send me on 14th or even on 15th as well, I don't mind. And speaking of the Galaxy S20 Ultra, so one of the biggest standout features of the new Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is its space zoom camera feature, which allows you to do a mind-boggling 100x zoom when taking pictures or shooting videos. This sort of zoom is what you would expect from a small telescope, not a smartphone. But don't let that huge number confuse you. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra can do 100x lossless optical magnification, but it can indeed do a crazy zoom through a lot of hardware and software trickery. So the Galaxy S20 Ultra is the only model in the S20 family equipped with a periscope zoom lens. It has 48 megapixel sensor and can do up to 4x optical zoom on its own, but you can go up to 10x without losing any quality thanks to what Samsung is calling a hybrid optic zoom. Although this isn't a purely optical magnification, Samsung says that up to 10x zoom, you won't really notice any drop in image quality. And not only this, Galaxy S20 Ultra also promises to take you as far as 100x zoom but without any great claims about picture quality. We have already seen phones can go as high as 20x or 50x zoom but the Galaxy S20 Ultra goes twice as high, still its method for doing isn't quite as revolutionary as its name may have you believe. In fact, Samsung is using the same concept that allowed Huawei to push P30 Pro's periscope camera to do a 50x zoom. Only Samsung now has a high resolution camera sensors and a more powerful hardware to achieve this. The Galaxy S20 Ultra achieves 100x zoom by leveraging two high resolution camera sensors and a power of on the fly image processing. Simply put, after you pass the 10x threshold, the phone will rely heavily on digital methods to maximize the potential of the telephoto camera and its 48 megapixel by cropping, sharpening, and otherwise attempting to improve the result on the fly using software. But since algorithms can only go so far, the Galaxy S20 Ultra is also pulling data from the massive 108 megapixel sensor of its main camera and combining it with the image data from the telephoto camera to deliver the final result. Having access to more image data from both sensors and combining it is what allows the S20 Ultra to achieve space zoom 100x. From what we have seen so far, is it nearly as crib as what you get on lower levels of zoom, although it is still might although it is still mighty impressive to be able to do something like this on a smartphone. So always remember, big numbers aren't everything when it comes to photography. That's why Samsung has been down their 108 megapixel main camera to just 12 megapixel sensor to take brighter, better, vibrant, and just overall better image. So yeah, this is how the 100x space zoom works on Galaxy S20 Ultra. And you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, see you in the next one. Thank you.